All right, hi. It looks like we're live. There was something strange happening there for a moment. Hello. Um, let me just get some water, please. Um, hi. Thank you, thank you so much for um, being here tonight. My name is Nina and I am the Norwex Consultant. Will you please, please do me a favor and when you come on, will you say hi to me? That way I know that I'm not in a wrong place and I also know who's joining us. And since most of you are not my friends on Facebook, I can't tell if you're here. I can see how many people are watching, but I can't tell who it is. So please do me a favor and say hi. I will also log in on my cell phone. That way I can see what you guys see. And in case we have any technical issues, which hopefully we won't, I'll be able to fix them. Hi, Sarah and Judy. Hi, Jenny. Awesome. Thank you for coming, ladies. All right. I see it. I got to turn it down here for a second. Okay. We're ready to go. Now, the way I'm planning this is to... Um, I'll talk a little bit of Norwax just to introduce us as a company and my reason why, my reason why I switched and why I decided to join Norwex. And then I'm going to introduce the Safe Haven package, which is, um, it is my favorite package and it's what I started out with when I first, that was my first order. So I always, always recommend that one um, to get going and kick those chemicals out to the curb. So please do me a favor and um, ask me questions. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate at all. So just ask away, I'm happy to answer them. And it's fun, it's definitely way more fun when I can, when I feel like I'm actually talking to somebody or talking with somebody versus just, you know, seeing myself and talking to myself. So Norwex, right? We started out in Norway almost 24 years ago. I can't believe it's been that long. And um, we are, our name actually stands for Norwegian Experience. We're a global company. Our products are made in 12 different countries and they're not countries that you normally associate with the made in label. So like made in Germany, made in Denmark, made in Australia, made in United States, made in Canada, that kind of stuff. Our microfiber is made in China because that is the only country in the world where you can get a PhD in textiles and we own our factory there. So big thumbs up for that. Now, over the last um, 50 years, more than 86,000 chemicals have been introduced into our environment. Only about 200 have been tested on their effects on human health so far. And out of those 200 tested, we now have 150 known carcinogens. They're not only carcinogens though, they are neurotoxins, they cause infertility, they cause developmental disabilities, they cause birth defects, and a slew of other illnesses. Um, imagine if they actually had tested all 86,000 of them, where would we be now? Now, what irks me is the fact that the manufacturers of basically anything, but specifically talking about cleaning products, are not required to properly label their products. They don't have to tell us what's in them, and they don't. There's many loopholes in the law, and one of those is that they can say that whatever product or whatever ingredients is in their products, they can say that it's a trade secret. Hi, Michelle, thank you for coming. That it's a trade secret, and they don't have to tell us what's under that trade secret. So they don't. Now. The Environmental Working Group is a company that I absolutely love. They're an independent organization that does testing of products that we come in daily contact with, and they do a lot of it. So they have done a couple of different studies um, that are just mind boggling. One of them is they tested cord blood of newborn babies. And they have found that on average, Babies are born with 287 chemicals, harsh chemicals in their cord blood. Now, we're, we shouldn't be exposed to those chemicals, period, much less be born with it. Another one that was done by um, an organization in Toronto, Canada, I think it's their lung association, um, they were testing 
moms who stay at home and work from home versus moms who work outside of the home, outside of the house. And they have found that moms who stay at home and work from home have a 54% higher chance of getting breast cancers versus moms who work outside of the home. And the biggest reason for that is the chemicals we use to clean our homes. So as a stay-at-home mom and a mom of two boys, those two statistics were enough for me. I didn't need anything else. I needed a change and I needed it now. So I joined Norwax. And our mission is to improve the quality of life by radically reducing the use of harsh chemicals in our homes. We do that through... <laughs> we do Sarah, what do you do? We do that through use of water and our microfiber. Our microfiber is amazing. It is the kind of microfiber you have never seen in your life. In order for something to be legally considered a microfiber, it has to be at a minimum one-sixth the size of human hair. Norwex guarantees that our microfiber is at a minimum one two hundredth the size of human hair. So if you take a strand of your hair and split it 200 times, that's what our microfiber looks like. The first product that we introduced on the market is the EnviroCloth. The first one was actually red. And it looked kind of like this. This is the improved version of it, of course. It's about 13 by 13 inches. It is crazy dense and very thick or much thicker than you would expect a microfiber cloth to be. If you manage to take this cloth and unravel it, it would stretch from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. There are 10 million feet of microfiber woven into this cloth. And this... Um, that density, sorry, I'm trying to think and, and read at the same time. Um, why do you want to switch your job? Quit your job. You work at an animal hospital. I'm a sucker for animals. Where I'm looking at another dog and my husband is threatening divorce. Oops. So, um, yes, that density, because I mean, imagine 10 million feet of microfiber woven into a 13 by 13 inch cloth. It's pretty crazy. But that density is what gives it its ability to pick up 99% of bacteria off of any surface, use wet or dry. Now, all of our microfiber or cleaning microfiber has a tag on it. We have a great tagging system. The tag will tell you what it is. I know mine is wet and maybe a little hard to see. Um, that says Enviro. It says Norwex. And up here on top, it says Backlock. Backlock is another thing that separates us from all other manufacturers of cleaning cloths. Backlock is a Norwex's patent and it means that our microfiber has been embedded with microsilver. Microsilver is an antibacterial agent and it's been used around the globe for centuries. This is not a new thing by any means. Um, microsilver is still used a lot in hosp especially in hospitals. You can even find bandages with microsilver woven into it. It's used in hospitals as, um, for wound cleaning and dressing dressings, as well as burn victims have their bedding embedded with microsilver. Microsilver prevents bacterial growth. When microsilver and bacteria come in contact with each other, microsilver stops the ability of bacteria to reproduce, so it naturally dies off. Microfiber is what cleans your house. Microsilver is what self-purifies your cloth. So if you take care of it, your cloth is never going to get stinky, moldy, mildewy, and just in general become a breeding ground for bacteria. Every time after you use it, rinse it out, wring it out, hang it up. That hang it up part is really important because while it's hanging to dry, that's when that microsilver goes in and inactivates the bacteria. And by the time your cloth is dry, it's going to be bacteria free. Kind of simple, but I will be showing you quite a few demos with this baby tonight. Now, another thing that separates Norwax from all other manufacturers of these kind of products is also the way, the way our cloths are woven. If you take a cross section of any cloth you have in your house, the fibers look kind of like this. And as you clean, they go. With us, it's different. They look like this. And as you clean, they grab and they hold on to everything they touch. That's how they lift up the bacteria. But they also don't release it until you rinse it out. And um, what doesn't get rinsed out gets neutralized by the microsilver. But there is no cross-contamination with our cloth. So theoretically speaking, 
you can take this baby, go clean your toilet, then go to the kitchen and clean your kitchen without even a rinse in between. And none of it is gonna come back on your counters in a kitchen. And I'll show you a demo that will prove that in a little bit. Now, the per now that you know what our microfiber is and how crazy it is, um, what's it do? what does it do, right? Well, the Enviro cloth was created to replace about 80% of your cleaners. Any kind of all-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, any kind of, um, well, basically any kind of cleaner, really, will get replaced with this. This is an all-purpose, heavy-duty cleaning cloth, and it does everything. We joke that the E in Enviro stands for everything because it really does clean everything. From delicate surfaces like glass and mirrors to stainless steel and chrome and tile and um, carpet, furniture, floor, shoes, you name it, it can clean it. Two things I don't recommend that you use it on are your glasses if they have anti-glare coating and your car windows if they have aftermarket tinting because this is a really powerful cloth and it can potentially ruin it, damage it. So don't use it on those two things. Other than that, sky's the limit. Now, the next one is the window cloth. This is the perfect partner for the Enviro and it was created as such. It says window and it also has that backlock or that micro silver technology in it so none of the smelliness is happening here. And this baby polishes everything in sight. Everything your Enviro can clean, the window cloth will polish. Windows, mirrors, chrome, stainless steel, brass, any kind of furniture with a sheen to it. Seriously, anything that needs to be shined up, it will shine up. So I'll show you a demo. I have some butter. This is just Kerrygold butter I have in a jar, which I should probably replace because it's starting to, you know, smell a little sour. It's going to get a little wobbly for a minute, guys. I have to flip you around so I can show you this. Now, I share my office with my kids' playroom. So we share the space, and you can see all the Pokemon that are keeping guard over me. I have a mirror. So that's kind of, that's what I'm showing you. I'm not showing you the Pokemon. It's the mirror. And um, let me grab some of this butter. Normally, if you're using any kind of glass cleaner, you know, and paper towels, you would have to think about how many times you would f actually have to go over this to make it streak free right because you know it wouldn't happen just going over it once or twice and this also helps simulate just fingerprints period on everything and grease in general so what i have here is my wet enviro and it's just wet with water i like to fold it in quarters this way i have more surface area to work with and look at this normally if you have paper towels you kind of have to go you know scooping it in with this you don't it just goes like this. One more time. Wipe my fingers off a little bit because it got on me quite a bit. And grab my polishing cloth. Look at that. All gone. And it's not just gone, but it's completely streak free. How cool is that? Imagine if this is how easy it is to get a very buttered up mirror completely shiny and streak free. Imagine what it will do for your surfaces because realistically speaking who has butter on their mirror, right? Other than me, <laughs> maybe. But seriously, dog slobber. We have a dog. Um, dog slobber, kids fingerprints, grease, counters, toothpaste. Toothpaste seems to be a theme with um, a lot of you guys, and, and I can definitely relate, I have two little ones, toothpaste is everywhere. And um, super easy, super easy, super efficient. I just used water, I didn't create any garbage, and I definitely didn't breathe in any chemicals. So, total win-win. Now, these two come in our basic pack. When you take a look at the catalog, I highly advise looking at packages, again, I'm introducing the safe haven package, but these kind of come in their own little packaging. And packages are cheaper than if you were to buy it individually. So, really cool stuff to have. Now, next one is the dusting mitt. And this has become one of my personal favorite products really quickly. 
you guys have seen these, right? You have seen them in stores. I've owned several of them, different kinds. And um, this one is incredible. It is woven so densely that you can't even see the cloth that it's woven onto. Like, it's impossible to see it. A little bit of electrostatic charge and you go. And I really mean go, because it's not gonna stop from electronics, um, furniture, vents, fans, baseboards, everything and anything in between. Um, window shades. When you're done, my, at least for me, this, as opposed to just pushing stuff around where you kind of have to scoop it in, this attracts it. It's like a magnet. It attracts it and it holds it in. You can seriously go like this after you're done and it's not going to go anywhere. Take it outside. You have to hit it against something to get some of that dust out. That's the way I do it. Maybe there's an easier way. I just like it that way. Um, one of my favorite things to use this on are window screens. Those things are despicable. They take so long. I don't know what the deal is with that or is it just me and I'm such a neat freak that they have to be just perfect. But my goodness, used to take hours, take them off, wash them in a tub, scrub them, take them outside, let them dry, hang them back up. Process. With this, I kid you not, water, this is just water in a spray bottle. Mist it. Wipe it clean. That easy. Seconds with what used to take me hours to do. Seriously takes me hours seconds now. I love this. There's two ways to clean. There's a chemical way of cleaning when you're physically depositing a chemical onto a surface in order for it to, you know, kill bacteria, break up the dirt, or probably both. And then there's a, a mechanical way of cleaning, which is the Norwax way of cleaning. When you are mechanically removing everything off of a surface, every time you use a chemical, every time, you're always leaving residue on your surfaces. And that residue acts like glue for new dirt and you just just attracting it. That's why you dust so much. When you switch with, to these products and you remove everything, including that old residue left over from your previous cleaners, you will see how much less you're dusting because there's nothing for that dust to stick to. It's just pure clean surface. Do it, Jenny, seriously, but do me a favor, take before and after pictures. You will be stunned. You will be stunned. Please take pictures. Like, I keep forgetting to do it, but I know I'm gonna have to come spring. I mean, it's still not spring in Minnesota. We're, we're not there yet. So we're a huge fan. I love that I can just hand them to my boys. We have them in green and blue, which is just perfect, and give them to my kids. We even have them in kids' sizes. They're that popular. Let them go do their thing. Go dust your room, buddy. You don't need to use any chemicals and you can't screw it up. So, big, huge fan. These three come in our, so the, the Enviro, the window, and the dusting mint, they come in our household package. Household package. Now, I, I've been a stay-at-home mom for almost eight years, and out of those eight, for six of them, I actually had an in-home daycare. I wanted my kids to have some friends at all times. Oh. I'm sorry, I was so sure that you had it. Okay. I don't know how I missed that one. Sorry. Oh, you will get it in your hostess rewards. This is part of the hostess rewards, so you will get it. For free, too. Now, for six years, right? It was me and five to seven kids. So just try and use your imagination. We went through tons and I mean like hundreds of dollars worth of paper towels every single month to be exact we went each each week we would go through a 12 pack of bounty paper towels because it was paper towel for this paper towel I mean I couldn't do anything without paper towel everything revolved around paper towel yes yes it is Sarah so hundreds of dollars that ended up in a landfill. That's what I did, because I didn't know a better way. I haven't bought paper towels in 11 months. And in those 11 months, I um, 
we renovated our old house, sold it, bought this house, renovated this house without a single piece of paper towel. Not only have these been game changers for me around the house and you know that general cleaning, but the kitchen cloth and kitchen towel have changed the game completely for us. When you have these, you have zero need for paper towel. And I really mean it wholeheartedly, zero, okay? Kitchen towel, I know it's red and I should have grabbed the different colors so you can see the letters better, the words, but it has that backlog technology so none of the smelliness is happening here. This one is considerably smaller than the Enviro. It's lighter as well, but this will hold seven times its weight in water, just like all of our products. So for this one, it's a full cup. For the towel, it's three cups of water. And this kitchen cloth, seriously, it gets wet when I wake up, and as long as mama is running, this is running. It doesn't get a break. From counters, tabletops, chairs, kids' hands and faces during meals, um, arts and crafts projects, whatever my puppy can spill, whatever my kids can spill, and um, yeah, they can spill a lot out of thin air. They will conjure up water. This one I use just for that, like spilled water, big pots and pans. I have it hanging on my dishwasher handle for drying our hands. Like zero need for paper towels. And this, it has, <clears throat> excuse me, it has this ribbing woven into it. And the purpose of the ribbing is so that it can help pick up and hold on to bigger crumbs, the kind of crumbs we have in the kitchen. And it does an amazing job of that. My husband was making coffee for us the other night getting it ready for the morning and he spilled a whole scoop of coffee and grounds on my counters and you know when you when you see something like that you're like I could see it in my mind's eye I could see him scooping it into his hand I was wiping up the table after dinner so I tossed it to him and seriously the entire scoop so it's one tablespoon yeah one tablespoon of coffee grounds was in a cloth like this one and he just held it going like oh my god I can't believe it like I even I can't believe it and we've been using this for well over a year now. So incredible. They're huge money savers. I mean, for me, they are, they have be become an irreplaceable part of my daily routine. My kitchen is just part of my kitchen gear. Let's call it that. And I love that my kids love it too. It's so easy. They love it. Now, we all run into those things that are super hard to clean and that even my Enviro and water can't handle alone. And for those, I have this. This, you guys, is one of those products that every household needs. Like, there seriously isn't a household anywhere in the world that, that doesn't need the cleaning paste. It is quite amazing. It's like elbow grease in a jar times 5,000. It ha I always smell it. It smells like lemon essential oil. That's what it smells like. Because that's what it is. Um, it's a hard... I shouldn't tap it because mine is kind of cracking now. Um, it's a hard surface, feels like chalk. And it's a very, very mild ab abrasive. It's made with three active ingredients. Marble flour, so marble stone has been ground into a flour. Um, traces of coconut oil and natural soap. And it does so much work around my house. I want to show you a quick demo while I'm talking. Um, it does everything from like stainless steel, grout, tile, tub, sink, um, stains on a carpet, stains everywhere. This is a Sharpie, so Sharpie doesn't stand a chance. And a little bit of this paste goes, oh my god, stove and oven? Yes. This is, this is incredible for them. This is, um... Now, I know you guys can't see it, but it's an unglazed, porous, very porous tile. And this is just a piece of laminate flooring. Super easy to do. It has done so much work. So much work in this house when we bought it. It was, while the guys that used to live here, they did an amazing job updating everything. They didn't clean. Like, they did not clean. And this... Oh, I, I love, love, love the paste so much. I love the fact that it's super safe. I can, my kid, so Noah, you will hear his name several times tonight. He, um, he's four, he's almost five, and he, um, used a pen, regular, just ballpoint pen, in a sink 
in a bathroom because apparently that's where he needed to write stuff. He knew that he screwed up. So before even telling me what he did, he went and grabbed the paste and started cleaning. So I saw him whip out the paste and take it to the van. I'm like, um, what are you doing? Because, you know, I'm, I'm always on the lookout. Yes, it removes Sharpie. Grout. Oh, my God. So when we bought this house, the whole kitchen and the dining room is tiled. And it's kind of, it tile looks almost identical to this, this color. So it had really dark grout. And me just being naive. I assumed that it was the intended color of the grout. Well, as I was cleaning kind of top to bottom, when I got to the bottom and started cleaning the tile and grout, I realized that the grout is actually almond colored. It just it has never been cleaned. It looked chocolate brown. So the paste saved the day. One fantastic thing about this paste, if what I already said wasn't enough, is that it lasts an average family of four anywhere between one and a half and three years. A little bit goes a really, really, really long way. You can use it on just about any surface. I wouldn't recommend they use it on cast iron because, well, you're not supposed to, of course, not electronics. But anything like this, anything like other than those things, go for it. If you don't care for oven cleaning like I don't, oven is one of those things. I'm almost six feet tall, so logistically it sucks for me to get in there and try to scrub it. But the Spiri sponge, which is also part of the Safe Haven package, and the paste are my saving grace. Just a little bit. These sponges don't stink, guys. They're made with silicone, so bacteria just slides right off. Imagine a sponge in your sink, like for dishes. It never smells. It lasts about two months in a sink, in a kitchen, and when it's kind of done and just doesn't look so pretty anymore, I move it to the bathroom and it lasts another couple of months in a bathroom. I love it. Speaking of bathrooms, gotta show you this, I'm a mom of boys. And as any mom of boys knows, bathroom cleaning just plain sucks. Because our boys suck at aim. It's not happening. I don't know what the deal was what the deal is with them not being able to aim but I'm kind of given given up on it it's never gonna happen so that's why I don't like cleaning the bathroom but I'm a clean freak and I can't handle it so I clean it this is our bathroom scrub mitt guys this is not part of the safe haven package this is just one of those products that I have fallen in love with that have changed the game for me um on one side it is super soft it's kind of like the dusting mitt with just with shorter fibers and maybe not as densely woven and on this side is a scrubby but non-scratching side so what I like to do with this before I even get it wet to clean I will get in the corners and pick up all the hair and dust just really quick because that's where it settles right brush it off into trash get it wet and clean I live in Minnesota and my water is not terribly hard so I don't necessarily need anything extra except for this and you have to understand, these pick up 99% of bacteria off of any surface, so I don't really need anything um, unless I get a little bit of, what do you call it, like calcium buildup, because I will get a ring around the drains every so often, just that, you know, mineral buildup. Everything. Tub, shower, tile, floor, sink, toilet. Rinse it out, hang it up, done. Like I said, every so often I need something extra and for that it's the paste. About once a month what I like to do personally is just get some paste and this and polish up the top. Just gives it a nice little polish because no matter how soft your water is, it needs to happen occasionally. So for me, this is my go-to. I love the fact that I no longer have to kick my family out. I'm not dousing my bathroom in bleach, which is what I used to do because that was the only way to get it clean, especially with little boys. So, it really is something else. Oh, let me check your comments really quick. Yeah, oh my gosh, yes, Jenny. It, oh my god, yes, that's exactly it. Use at your own risk. Like, watch your step. It's a mine. It may be a minefield. I, I couldn't agree with you more on that. It's such a pet peeve. It, it's a pet peeve. I get annoyed to the point of yelling at them, like... Next time you're going to be cleaning this, not me. But it doesn't work. They don't care. 
they absolutely don't care. So if you are somebody who struggles with hard water buildup and you have that soap scum and lime and calcium and rust deposits, especially for those who are on well water, um, we have a liquid cleaner called Blue Diamond. It is made with organic salts and acids. This is a very concentrated formula and it's kind of gel-like. Um, Norwex recommends that you dilute it one to seven. I don't have hard water, so I don't necessarily need it for anything. But what I like to do with it is dilute it one to five and I use it inside my toilet bowl. I use it about once a week because regardless again of how soft your water is, it needs a little extra kick every so often. And for me, this is it. It does not have a scent. Imagine a, like a hardcore bathroom cleaner without a smell of any kind. It's pretty amazing. And this is not made for natural stone. So if you have granite, um, marble, quartz, that kind of stuff, please don't use it. It will eat through organic matter. That's what it does. I wanna show you a quick demo here. I have a penny from 1982. That's pretty dirty, so. Oops, it's completely safe. You don't have to wear gloves to clean with it and it works really fast. What I do is right before I grab this to um, pick up all the dust around, I will spray this inside my toilet and just let it sit until I'm done with the bathroom and um, then just grab our, we have a really cool silicone toilet bowl called the ergonomic toilet bowl, toilet brush, not bowl, brush. And I love it because it never stinks. Like it never, it can't. Bacteria slides right off of it. So it's gonna last you forever and a day because you don't have to replace it every three months. Like you're supposed to replace any other one. So look at that. That's how well it works. It's really incredible. Highly, highly recommend it. It's one of our 10, um, top 10 products. Now, these products are amazing. They really are. This is not something you're gonna get rid of, dispose of anytime soon. This is made to last you for a really, really long time. How do you take care of it? Well, after each use, like I mentioned <clears throat> in the beginning, after each use, if you're using it wet, rinse it out, warm water, just like you would with any other cloth, really. Warm water helps the fibers swell up, so it helps them release whatever they have trapped and lock inside rub it against itself, wring it out, hang it up to dry. While it's drying, that micro silver goes in and inactivates the bacteria. Your cloth is bacteria free every time. Depending on how frequently and how heavily you use it, we recommend that you wash it, again, recommendation, right? Um, about once a week in your laundry machine, hot water, lint-free, Items, lint-free items are things like your bedding. Your bedding has barely any lint and it's safe to wash this with if you don't have a ton of Norwax, of course. Um, no bleach, never bleach, no softener, no dryer sheets, and lint, or I'm sorry, filler-free laundry detergent. Manufacturers add fillers to their laundry products to make it look like you're getting a ton of value for your money. That's why you see those big massive jugs of like Tide and all and really any other laundry detergent. And yet you still need a lot to get it done, right? Well, fillers are things like sawdust and crushed peanut shells. Some of those manufacturers are actually honest enough to say that. So you will see it on some labels um, if you take a look. We highly recommend Ultra Power Plus, and I personally highly recommend Ultra Power Plus. This is one of those laundry detergents that just kind of leave you shocked because it's such a versatile product. It first will wash my laundry better than anything else. And trust me, I know what dirty laundry looks like. I have boys, I, I live with all men in my house. So there never seems to be clean laundry when, when they take it off, right? This is pure laundry detergent. So no fillers, no softeners, um, no no bleach, no optical brighteners, no phosphates, no sulfates, no phthalates, no dyes, and no fragrances. Like I said, pure laundry detergent. It comes in a two pound bag. This is my sample size, two pound bag. And a two pound bag lasts an average family of four, eight to 10 months. Because you only need so little of it. You only need one quarter of a teaspoon to one half a teaspoon per load of laundry. If you have soft water and an HE machine, 
you need one quarter teaspoon. If you have hard water and an HE machine, you need one teaspoon. There's about 350 loads in a bag, okay? For my family, and I do, our average is 15 loads of laundry every single week. It lasts me full six months. That's 360 loads. Yes. But this is, like I said, it's a super versatile product. Check out the posts I made about it. Um, you will see you will see pictures, but you will also see a list of things that you can use this on. I have it diluted in a spray bottle. Just a regular plastic spray bottle. I, I kid you not. I, I am not joking about this. Like cleaning is something I never joke about. I have a Target bottle, spray bottle, just a plastic spray bottle. It depends on how hard your water is, Jenny. If it's a non-HE machine and hard water, then one teaspoon would be what I would do. I wouldn't do more than that. Anything more than that means that your machine can rinse it out. And if it's not rinsing the detergent out, it's not rinsing the dirt out. So it's all sitting in your laundry. So with Norwex, everything, and seriously, every product we make, less is more, less is better. Always go with the less. But yes, if it's a non-age e-machine and hard water, I would go with one teaspoon. If it's a non-age e-machine and soft water, I would do one half a teaspoon, but not more than that. Now, you can dilute this. So I have it diluted in a spray bottle. I do about one teaspoon per spray bottle of 20 ounces. I use it to, because my pot dog still has accidents and I have white rugs upstairs takes pee out of rugs. Noah has frequent nosebleeds, especially because our air is so dry in the winter. It seriously happens like four times a week. It gets blood out of white rugs, gets it out of our clothes, gets it out of our furniture. Um, grease, holy buckets, this is an amazing degreaser. So I have a gas stove and we have um, cast iron grates on it. And you know, if you have that, they always look greasy. Like no matter what you do, they always used to look greasy. Now I fill up my sink with hot water, drop about a teaspoon of laundry soap of Ultra Power Plus in it, let my grates sink sit in there for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so, completely dissolves it. It doesn't even look like grease. It looks like dirt. There's no grease present. It's amazing. I mean, you can use, I also use it in my Bissell carpet cleaning machine completely completely cleans my carpets huge huge difference it makes I don't have to buy that $17.99 um, Bissell carpet cleaner anymore I love this I, I love it I'm a huge huge fan of it I want to show you something this is what a Tide Pod looks like diluted in one cup of water this is one Tide Pod in one cup of water this is Ultra Power Plus in one cup of water do you see that difference only God knows what's in this. I don't think they even know what's in this anymore. Huge, huge, massive difference. So, yeah. Now, do you guys know that the three, sorry, I'm having, my hair is flying everywhere and it's just itching because I have a little um, heater here. So I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's making me itch and I'm all like, ooh. Um, three most toxic products we can have in our homes are the drain cleaner, oven cleaner, and laundry softener. That laundry softener that makes everything smell so good is really toxic for us. It causes um, upper respiratory issues, it causes allergies, it causes hormonal imbalance, a lot of issues that there's absolutely no need for us to have. So Norwex's answer to that have been these dryer balls. And I'm a really huge fan of them. They are called fluff and tumble dryer balls. They're made with 100% New Zealand wool. They're, of course, natural and biodegradable. And um, they do a couple of different things. First, they will soften your laundry better than any laundry softener you've ever used. I guarantee you that. Second, they're going to cut your drying time. And they're going to cut it by 25%. Yeah, it is toxic. Tell, tell her please to, to not use it anymore. Even if she doesn't want to use a Norwex product, please don't, don't use it. Please don't. I used to live for washing my windows and my curtains because I would just soak them and snuggle. 
and just that smell was so good. I loved it. Nothing made me as happy as that. I don't miss it one bit. Oh no, I'm sorry, mom. Please, yeah, don't trust me. Don't trust me, check for yourself. I know, my, it was the biggest struggle with my mom too. It really was, but I, I can kind of help, maybe. So it cuts your drying time by 25%. And for me, again, I do about 15 loads of laundry. We have seen a cut in our electrical bill by about $35 each month just from this. That's because that's the only change we made. So if you like your laundry scented like mom, sorry mom, you can add some essential oils to these. Toss them back in and your laundry is going to be scented. Super healthy, super safe, perfect. Now, a couple more things and then I'm going to let you guys go. First, I want to tell you something I forgot, which I should have said earlier. But all of our products have a 60-day money-back guarantee. All of them. Um, all of our microfiber has a two-year warranty. So imagine a cloth... They, these are, the, the dryer balls are guaranteed, so they have a, they have a two-year warranty on them. Um, I believe that they're tested for 1,000 washes. I agree. Well, Jenny, I agree, but, you know, if I actually made it back down at the time that that bell, bell went off, and I didn't have to hit the, you know, button again, <laughs> start button again, it would be even better. But... Let's be realistic. Nobody makes it down in time to do it every time. But seriously, it 35 bucks is what my husband counts because I can't do that. Math stuff is too much for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that's what our average has been since last year, since a year and a half ago. Big difference. So two-year warranty on our microfiber. Our microfiber though has been tested for 500 washes in a laundry machine and if you follow our recommendation of washing it about once a week it will give you up to nine years of use. Like I said these products are not something you're gonna dispose of anytime soon. Um, when they're done and there's no life left in them like done please don't throw them in a the trash. Send them back to us we will pay shipping send them back to us and we will recycle them. So they never have to, nothing we make has to end up in a landfill. Everything is biodegradable or recyclable or reusable. So nothing needs to be tossed into trash, which is super important to me. So two products left, but before I do that, I need to show you another demo. Remember how I mentioned earlier that there's no cross contamination between our surfaces? So I wanna show that to you. But you're gonna bear with me because this is a little wobbly. So I have a cutting board. This is a Norwax cutting board. It's made out of rice husk, and it's non um, what is that called? It's scratch resistant. But it has also this silicone backing, which I love because it doesn't slip and slide on my on my um, counters. And I'm a clumsy, very clumsy person. I have the cutting board. I have some raw chicken. Ugh. It was frozen, so it's still dripping a little bit. Raw chicken, and I have this baby here, and it's called Pro Clean Rapid Protein Test. This is what we order from Weber Scientific, which is the same place. This is not a Norwax product, um, and it's the same place where the health department orders it from. Health department, when they check out, or you know, the health inspector, when they're checking out cleanliness of restaurant kitchens and public kitchens, they show up with one of these. We're testing for protein because we can't test for bacteria. There's simply too much of it. But we know that bacteria can't live off of protein. We can't live without protein because protein is bacteria's food. So we are testing for protein. And um, on the back here, it says that green is clean and purple means that it's there's protein present. So just bear with me for a second. I need to do this. I don't like to wear my glasses when I do this because of the glare and I feel like you guys can't see me. Um, but sometimes I just need them. So raw chicken on the cutting board, rub it in, get it on there really good. Okay. My tris, hold on one second. Okay. 
want to grab my Enviro cloth, but I want to fold it up nicely. So my Enviro, and all I'm doing is wiping it clean. That's it. I'm going to leave it this side up because we're going to reuse that same side. And now I'm just going to swab. Break, break the seal. See how green that is? This is a rapid test. So if it touches protein, it turns purple. Like it's an immediate reaction. So take a look at that. Now, I'm using the same side I just used to clean this and I'm gonna go over it again. So if I had just cleaned the bathroom with this, now I'm going to the kitchen and I wanna see if any of it is coming back onto my counters. See how green that is? It's crazy, right? Now, if, you, if you're not doing it this way, you're doing it wrong. Like, I really do mean that. If you're using any kind of disinfecting wipes, um, have you, I just want to show you what it looks like when it touches protein. See how fast that was? Yuck. So if you're using disinfecting wipes, have you actually ever read the back of the canister for the instructions on it? I didn't, and I was stunned when I when I did. See how that turned purple? Yuck. Um, depending on the brand, it says that the surface you're cleaning, in order for it to kill the bacteria, the surface you're cleaning has to be visibly wet for four to ten minutes. So you, you literally have to stand there and wipe that surface continuously in order for it to kill the bacteria on it. Because otherwise it can't be wet. Really? Four minutes? Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? I don't have that time. My four-year-old would bring down the house. We, we would be homeless. Now, and even when it does, I'm not claiming that it doesn't. I am sure that it kills bacteria. It better for the amount of chemicals it has in it. Once it does kill the bacteria, all those chemicals are still sitting on your surface. All of them. And you have just absorbed it through your skin. You're supposed to wear gloves when you use those disinfecting wipes. It takes 26 seconds once it touches your skin for it to be detected in every organ in your body. Yeah, that's some serious stuff. So, um, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you is my answer to that. I will stick with these cloths and water. Now, two products left. This is the mop. Mop is Norwex's most coveted item. It is our one of the top sellers. It is an amazing mop. You will never, for as long as you live, buy another one, okay? It has a 360 swivel base. It has the telescopic mop handle, so I am 5'11". And my husband, who is 6'5", can very easily use it without hurting his back. So no excuses, husband, right? Ergonomically correct way to have it is to have it go up to your chin. That way your back doesn't hurt and you're not bending down. You can lock it in place and you're not bending down. It has this um, silicone ball so that when you lean it against the wall, it actually stays against the wall. And it also removes scuff marks. Now, I'm going to lower it just so it's easier for me to show you how it works velcro base and it comes with two pads we have a couple of different ones too we have a tile pad and a chenille pad but it the system comes with these two this is a pad that picks up bacteria off your floors i have a dog i have a lot of hair we had birds thank god we don't have those anymore so imagine i have children so imagine the kind of mess that my seven kids from my daycare would bring in when they go outside. Everything gets picked up. We recommend that you mop in a figure eight motion. That way you're picking up, sweeping up the bigger pieces that of course can stick to the mop. But you see how much bigger the pad is than the mop itself? This way you are cleaning the baseboards or the quarter round as you go mopping your floors, which is always a plus in my, in my world. When I'm done, this is fur, hair, crumbs, dried up mud, Play-Doh, um, 
Cheerios, popcorn, that kind of stuff, completely covered. This here is our rubber brush, and I am a big, huge fan of this rubber brush because you just brush it into trash. Flip it over, brush the other side, remove it, take it off. But this rubber brush is seriously my saving grace. My dog sheds so much, especially now I have a Pomeranian and um, so fur is everywhere. This will, I will brush my couches with this. I will brush the stairs, carpeted stairs, anywhere I have it. I have it in my car. I actually have people, customers, buy them for just having it in their car so they can brush their car seats or you know well yeah car seats i suppose huge huge help when you're done grab the wet pad and um the way i like to do this again this pad is much bigger than the base is the way i like to do this is by misting it i will just mist my pad and everything everything gets picked up i like misting it versus um, sticking it under the faucet because this way I have better control of the shine and I want my floors to shine so I missed it I miss my floors and I go mopping seriously nothing that can be on my floor stands a chance against this from you know things like fingerprints and footprints dried on food I picked up glue seriously guys uh, I don't know how much glue there there was there must have been a ton and um oh my gosh i just saw michelle's comment sorry but <laughs> yeah i stopped breathing for a second i'm gonna tell you something in a minute michelle um yeah everything get, gets picked up there's three ways you can get the mop you can buy it and it's worth absolutely every penny you can host a party in april and get it as part of your hostess rewards for free or you can join our team Start spreading the Norwex mission with us and get it for free in your uh, consultant kit along with a ton of other stuff. So any of the ways is worth it. Trust me on that. Excuse me. Now, Michelle, um, I have actually done, we have, let me see if I have any here. We have mini Enviro cloths. They're about this size. And both of my boys, teachers, they now have them in their classrooms. I donated a bunch and then um, sold a bunch to them at my discount. I wanted to help them out. So the kids' classrooms in my both of my boys' schools don't use them anymore. And this is our wet, um, this is a bag for wet cloth. So when you're done, you can, you can even use this for diapers too, like stinky diapers when they get wet. And... You can stick it in here. This is also embedded with micro silver, so bacteria and mold will not grow in it. And um, about every two weeks or so, I have their teachers stick it in here and send it to me in my boy's backpack. So I will wash it and send it back to them. So that way, kids are using it to dry their hands with it. They actually also have this in their classroom. They... Oh, I don't have it anymore. Um, we have the, these are chenille hand towels. I love them because a towel, hand towel used to last me like two hours. This one lasts a full week in my bathroom because it's incredibly absorbent and the micro silver neutralizes the bacteria in it so it doesn't stand the chance. And seriously, for a whole week with seven kids in my daycare. So I've donated a couple of these to my son's classroom so kids dry their hands. There's absolutely no exposure to chemicals in their classrooms. So I love that. Um, what else was I going to say? I have one more product left. So the first time I was introduced to Norwex happened to be at my old neighbor's um, in-home party. And the consultant was talking and I was skeptical. I was super skeptical. And then she started talking about the body cloths. So it was a Saturday night and I wore makeup because, you know, as a mom, I don't get to get out much. So any chance to wear makeup, I'm all for it. And um, she was like, you know, whoever's willing to take their makeup off tonight gets to take this home. So I'm like, me, I live two doors down and God knows I have nowhere to go. So I was all over it. What she didn't know is that I had a burn like right under my um, left eye from a makeup remover wipe I had worn a few nights or I had used a few nights ago. Serious burn, like the size of my fingerprint. And it took my makeup off in like 20 seconds. And seriously, 
if that didn't work that night, I probably wouldn't be here because I was really skeptical when I went to that party. I had a hard time digesting that something other than bleach can really clean my house the to the kind of clean that I consider clean. So when this worked, I was all open for it. But this is this is our body cloth. It's part of the body pack. They come in a pack of three. When you look at a catalog, you will see that there's makeup remover wipes and then there's a body pack. This is the body pack. Makeup remover wipes are very suede-like and I recommend them for people who have super, super sensitive skin, like very elderly people and tweens. So somebody who's just starting to wear makeup so they don't need to exfoliate their skin. These are amazing. They were first made to be used in a shower instead of body wash and body soap. They do an amazing job of that. Completely remove all odor even during that time of the month. Um, nothing stands a chance. They are exfoliating, but you can adjust the exfoliation level. The less water in them, the less exfol or I'm sorry, more exfoliation. More water means less exfoliation. So I will use this right before I shave, go against the hair growth. Um, to exfoliate and I just use a straight razor. I, you don't need any kind of, um, what is it called? Shaving cream or shaving gel for the, for shaving anymore because you will get the closest shave of your life. Takes all my makeup off um, regardless of, I'm wearing a waterproof mascara but you would never be able to tell that because, see that? Completely takes it off. And another thing that that really sealed the deal for me is my son, what, my son Noah, when he was three months old, he, um, he was diagnosed with severe eczema. And we went to, we found out this very recently actually, we went to seven different doctors, including like alternative medicine clinic and homeopathic pharmacies. We had doctors make him um, pomades and lotions and balms and creams and short of using steroids which I was super against nothing helped I went as far as making my own laundry soap nothing helped thousands upon thousands of dollars in doctor fees so Jenny yeah I mean it can so what I like to do is just rinse it out right away and I don't I personally don't have any cloths that are stained but I, if you're gonna use it for makeup removing, I don't recommend that you buy the Vibrant pack because it's like yellow and pink. So in that case, it might, but these, no. You can also use a little bit of Ultra Power Plus and clean it right away. I have it in a little shaker in my bathroom too. So it doesn't, but it's rare. And I mean, even if it stains it, it still does its job. So anyway, I switched him to this, to the body pack and to Ultra Power Plus, and it took us three weeks. Seriously, guys, three weeks, what couldn't, what we couldn't do in three and a half years. So my kid has been eczema free for a full year now. It's going to be a year on, on April 8th. And I'm forever grateful. Now, you wash these, you just do it the same thing like you do with all the other cloths. You rinse it out after use, hang it up to dry. That's okay, Michelle. You, you can go back. I will post this video so you'll be able to go back and check it out. Definitely. Um, rinse it out, wring it out, hang it up to dry. I probably go through about three cloths in a week, considering that... You know, I wear makeup maybe four out of the seven days of the week. I wash my face in the morning. I wash my face at night, too. Oh, my gosh. It, it Oh, I can't. I From, like, bleeding, cracked skin, cracked behind his knees, but below his tush, back of his arms back of his legs, sides of his body. Oh my God. I, yeah, I still touch him as I'm getting him dressed. I'm like touching him constantly to make sure it's not back. We went the whole winter without a single itty bitty bit of dry skin. I mean, that alone is enough for me. I'll forever be grateful to these guys for creating this product. 
Okay, so that's all I had for tonight. I am done. If you guys have any questions, and I do mean any questions at all, please send me a message. Give me a call. Shoot me an email. Whatever works for you. I'm happy to answer them. If you are interested in hosting your own part, Norwex has an amazing, amazing hostess program. Our products require this educational piece. So the only way for us to do this and our cloths to be used properly is to do it this way. And we need our hostesses to help us along. Um, so we reward them super, super generously. Our hostesses get on average $300, $350 in free products just for hosting a party. Plus, if you sign up to host a party, you will get 20% off your order from me from this party. So just a little something extra for you. Let me know if you're interested. Hosting is super easy. Like you can ask Jenny. There's really nothing to it. Um, if you like what I did, if you are looking for a side gig, if you are looking for extra to make a little extra money, this is a really easy way to do it. It's a fantastic company. I love what I do. It's so much fun. So let me know and I can send you more information if that's something you would like to know more about. So that's all I have for tonight. Thank you, Jenny, so, so much for hosting a party and letting me share Norwex with your friends and family. I really appreciate it. Ladies, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Have a great night. Bye.